Hi guys, I'm Darren. I wrote the OpenTX models for the iNav fixed wing group and I just wanted to go through the features of the, the standard model. What this will do is make things quicker and easier for especially new pilots getting everything set up. The idea being you install these, the model on the OpenTX, you run a quick CLI dump in iNav and then everything is already working for you. So what do you get? First of all you get flight modes which is the obvious one. You also get auto trim and auto tune. You have multiple OSDs that you can use and there are also a couple of safety features. Um, and the flight timer. Right, so the first thing I'll show you is uh, if on the, uh, uh, the display it will actually give you a flight mode as well, so angle, horizon, acro. Uh, there's voice horizon. feedback. Acro. Angle. And the way it works, um, I've tried to do it so all the pushing up of the switches because if you're flying it's easier to flick them up um, so flicking up should go to the safest option so for example on on this sorry I'll turn the voice off <coughs> that's going to be um, right so on this option acro is potentially the hardest to control then horizon then angle so angle being at the top is the most stable um, again with, with newer pilots in mind. On this one flicking it down is manual mode and up is cruise so again cruise is safer than manual um, and on this switch down is position hold up is return to home so uh, as you can see up on everything is um, is the safest option Right, the other the other thing is built in the, the the order of flight modes is fixed. So if you notice I'm in return to home, absolutely nothing else works. Just return to home. If I come out of return to home, if I go in position hold, the only other flight mode that works is manual. So But at the top you have return to home, then you have manual, then position hold, then cruise. Then you have the three standard flight modes if you like. So that's how, how the flight modes are set up. On this chap right here, we have auto trim and auto tune. Auto trim. So if I turn this all the way around, there's auto trim is now enabled. If I wait, I think it's 15 or 30 seconds, there, there is a warning beep so that you know that auto trim or auto tune is, there you go, is disabled. You can disable that, I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that. The other thing with auto trim and auto tune is you can't arm with auto trim and auto tune. The, this two way switch at the back, this one here, this is your arm switch. Forward is disarmed because again if you've got the sticks it's easier to click it forward to disarm which is a safety feature um, but if I flick it backwards Turn off auto trim to arm. No it, to arm. so the, the safety arming feature has detected the throttle was actually high and auto trim was enabled now they're both off I should be able to arm there we go don't worry about the volume, that's on my personal Tyrannus, I have this as a volume switch. Um, so they, there again, you, you have audio confirmation for armed and disarmed. If you notice that when it was armed and the throttle was raised, the flight timer started. So if I arm the throttle, raise the throttle, the flight timer will continue. It doesn't matter what I do with the throttle now, the, the timer will still continue until I disarm. It's, it's only waits for the throttle to go up after arming to start it. Just I figured it would be more accurate. So if you disarm it stops the timer, but you can continue. So disarms in flight, if you accidentally disarm in flight, as soon as you arm and 
raise the throttle, time will start again. Right, so if I disarm, to clear the timer, you use the momentary switch at the back. And this is multifunctional. So you hold it and you wait for beeps. And once you hear the beep, you let go. So the first beep will reset the timer, like that. The second beep, you didn't actually see anything, but if you're wearing goggles, you'll now be in the iNav menu. So if you need to, if say you're doing an auto tune or an auto trim, you just disarm, hold that in for two seconds, let go when you hear the longer beep, and it'll put you straight in that OSD menu. There's no having to try and remember stick commands or anything like that. You just get straight into it. Same as if you've got smart audio and you want to adjust the frequencies, hold that into the second beep and that's it, you're in the menu. So that should make life simpler. Um, OSDs, no sorry, this switch here on my radio, the, sorry, the, this blue switch here is the SA switch which usually lives here where this uh, red knob is. So this on my radio is OSDs, but this, just imagine this switch is here, that's your OSDs. Um, so you can have three, three different OSDs. Um, that's basically it. So that's, um, yeah, that's, that's the basic setup. Um, right, we've had a few issues where people couldn't get things working. And one of them seemed to be they had the wrong sound pack installed. So they, they'd done an upgrade um, from version 1.01 .01 to 1.02, but they didn't update the sound pack. The, the reason for that change was because of QX7. So in the future, except for possibly with XLite, I need to check that. It shouldn't need to change again. But I may just install ha have a, an XLite sound pack. So they basically okay. had auto trim on, but they had no sound pack, so they didn't know they were in auto trim. They had a, a weird beep, um, and they couldn't arm. So they, they obviously, they're over here, Turn off auto trim to arm. and they didn't have that warning. They just had to beep every 15 seconds. So that it was a nice, easy thing to be able to fix. But to, to check that everything is working, if you press page you'll get this channel monitor screen and this basically shows you everything that's going on and what you're interested in is this modes tab if I've, I've just raised the throttle to prove a point if you flick this and it doesn't work and everything is correct so the throttles low then there's a problem somewhere on the radio. Uh, you may need to recalibrate your gimbals or something like that, but also check the sound pack because you should get the error message. So now that the throttle's low, we're not in auto trim or auto tune. If I arm the throttle, you'll see modes has now changed. If it stays a hun minus 100, it's always disarmed. Um, and there's a problem there. I'll show you the other, which the other problem could be later on, but uh, the modes tab will now change depending on what flight mode I put it in. So that's that's how you know it's all working. Um, again, auto trim and auto tune. It's actually even though it's on this knob, it's set up like a three position switch, so you don't have to be dead on middle. As soon as you get to 33% left or right, it will f do the full throws. And then OSD again is this switch on your radios. Um, and that's basically it. So the only other thing that would stop the disarm working is if you haven't got global variable installed. So to do that, you press the menu button and then page through. And on different radios, uh, it's in different positions. So I'll show you on, on the X9D. You basically page through until this point here. If you haven't got this global variable screen, it won't work. Um, 
and it, again it, in the manual it shows you where the global variables are but if you notice this FM uh, it, it's on float mode one but it's it continues for all of them but it's the arm one when I arm it goes to one when I disarm it goes to zero if that's not happening you got you either not got global variables on or it's not installed correctly uh, but that's basically it uh, I'm trying to think if there have been any other problems with it but I, I, off the top of my head I, I think they're the big the main two issues is global variables is not installed or the flight pack was the wrong one so the errors weren't getting heard but yeah that should be everything um, oh yes yeah, sorry I was going to show you they get rid of the, the beeps right so if you page back what we're looking for is special functions and if you go down what you'll have trying to find it there we go so this special function here number 46 this is for the warning beep um, for the auto trim or auto tune if you want the warning beep still you can change how long it the gap is between the beeps so you got up to a minute or you can have it just once. Actually changing it to not once might actually disable it as well. So if you don't want to clear it just in case you wanted to add it later, if you do not once, that will also just silence it. So there's a couple of ways to get rid of the beep if you don't want the beep. But yeah, um, that's it. If there's any questions, you can either leave a comment or the better option might be to go to the INAV fixed wing group. Um, if you click on the file section and click for the file for this, it will actually take you to the post. Um, and then if you leave a comment on that post, then it will be quicker and easier to answer it on there. But yeah, that's that's basically it. As, you said, as I say, this is to try and get people up in the air quicker. And yeah, hopefully that's accomplished. Right, thanks for watching.